Hey folks, Sheila here from Design Files. I just wanted to put together another quick video to show you some of the latest updates that we've made to the Design Files platform. Now we ended up getting a load of fantastic feedback from our members when it came to the purchase order and the invoice features. So one of the new updates that I'm gonna be showing you today is based on that feedback. Now this new update is actually gonna allow you to take an invoice that you've created and turn it into all the necessary purchase orders that you need. So it's really gonna streamline that whole process and cut down the time it takes you to complete each of the, those individual purchase orders. So here's how it works. So I've got this invoice right here and let's say I want to create purchase orders directly from this invoice. To do that, now all I need to do is go into this menu here and there's an option where it says create purchase orders from invoice. So I'm gonna click on that and it's gonna bring up this panel right here. Now there's a couple of things that I wanna to bring to your attention uh, before we go ahead and generate those purchase orders. So one, if you're seeing this option down here where it says products missing vendors, you do want to address this first because this could be a case where maybe you were in a hurry and you uploaded some product items to your library, but you didn't fill out all the product specific details, including the vendors. So to ensure that you're getting accurate um, purchase orders created, you do want to click into this option first and make sure that you're adding the appropriate vendor name to those individual items. So these are both from both concepts. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add that in. And then we'll hit done. And now every single item that I used within that invoice is now tied to a specific vendor. So from here, there's one more thing that I wanna to bring to your attention. So let's say that you uploaded a few items directly from your computer and you added in the vendor's name like this, Bow Concept. But maybe a couple of days later, you ended up using the browser Clipper. And when you used the browser Clipper, it added the items under bowconcept.com. So now you've got a duplicate for a vendor here, but it's not a problem because what you can do is you can actually click these checkboxes here and you can merge the vendors into one. So that's gonna end up putting all of the products into one vendor for Bow Concept. And now that I have that, I can go ahead and I can create my purchase orders for each and every one of the vendors within my list. To do that, I'm just gonna click this checkbox right here and it's gonna select all of the vendors. And now I can create five purchase orders immediately. So there you have it. So now that that's done, you can see the purchase orders have been created for each of these vendors. And if I just wanna go in and check in and make sure that all of the details are in this specific purchase order, I can just click on this menu right here, edit my purchase order, and that's gonna take me directly to the one that is specific for Bow Concept. And you can see that it's already pre-populating all the fields with all the information that you already added directly to this product. So if you, when you were saving the item uh, to your library and you were using the browser clipper, if you took the time to add in the dimensions, the material and finish, the SKU number, the product name, all of that, we can automatically populate all of these fields so that you don't have to spend the time doing this. So from here, you can go ahead, you can save your purchase order if you feel like you've got all the information you need, or you can go ahead and add in any final notes to this purchase order. When you're good to go, you can save your purchase order, and then you can go back to this menu right here, download it as a PDF, and then from there, you'll be able to send that directly out to your vendor and just get that particular order underway. So that's how it works. It's gonna make it really quick and easy for you to spin up those purchase orders now, and you can get five done in the time it's gonna take you to do one. So go ahead, log in, test it out, and as always, let us know what you think.